My name is Miss Chelsea from the North Birmingham branch of the Birmingham Public Library, and this is my friend Hector. Wave hi, Hector. <laughs> now Hector's gonna help me tell a story called Possum's Harvest Moon. Possum woke up one evening and peeking through the grass was the biggest, brightest, yellowest moon that he'd ever seen. Possum said, oh, what a beautiful moon. Perfect evening for a party, a harvest soiree. Possum decorated the grass with lanterns and berries. Then he scurried off to start inviting some of his guests. Possum ran into a bunch of mice and he said, mice, mice. You must come to my harvest moon party. And the mice said, sorry, possum. We have to collect seeds for the winter. We're far too busy to come to a party. Oh, I know, yeah. So he scurries off to invite some more guests. <laughs> possum peered into a pile of leaves and he invited the crickets, crickets, please come to my harvest moon party. And the cricket said, oh no, we are too tired from singing all summer long. We can't come to your party. So Possum went and he scurried on to invite more guests. Down by the creek, Possum saw his friend Raccoon. Possum said, friend, dry off your hands and come to my party. The Raccoon said, Oh, I would, I would, but I need to be good and fat for the long winter. I have to catch more fish. So Possum scurried on to invite more guests to his party. While he was near the pond, he saw a group of frogs. So Possum said, frogs, frogs, come and sing at my party. But the frogs croaked, it's too late, much too late. We need to start heading underground for the long winter. Possum sat alone in his party hat, staring up at the great harvest moon. How could they think of work on such a beautiful night? Or who could possibly think of sleep with the beautiful moon shining down on us? The great harvest moon began to shine higher and higher up in the sky. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful, it made all of the busy, tired creatures stop and look up at its beauty. The harvest moon began to make them think of dancing, and soon they were swaying and twitching their tails and thinking, how could we miss Possum's party? They hurried and scurried while the night was still young towards Possum's party. He was so happy to see them all and they had all invited friends. They brought seeds and berries, fiddles and songs, and they all looked up at the great harvest moon. All of the animals agreed that they'd never seen a harvest moon so big and so bright. They all danced and sang all night. And when the sun began to rise, they all went back to their homes and dens for the winter. The end. Now this song is all about little possums, but it goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It goes. Mr. Moon, what do you see? Three little possums staring at me. Shining black eyes to see at night. Whiskers and snouts, color of white. Naked tails and fur of gray. Little possums run away. Please check out any of our online resources or in your local library to find Possum's Harvest Moon and other fun winter stories. Goodbye. <laughs>